Hi guys, welcome back to GP Reactions. I hope you're well, I hope you're having a great week. And as always, thanks to everybody that's subscribed. So I'm now going to be listening to, I think the first time on my channel, a status quo track. And this is called Pictures of Matchstick Men. And this was taken from their 1968 album, Picturesque Matchstickable Messages from the Status Quo. And entered the UK Top 40 on 27th of September. 1968 so I like it when songs are congruent with the time I'm reacting to them as uh, so I think we're about uh, what date is it now I mean we're, we're like 23rd or 24th of September I've actually lost track of days so um, this did uh, rather well it reached number seven I don't know too much about 1960s status quo whether this was their first album or whether they'd done any more before this but uh, anyway I know this song um, vaguely noticed song. I've heard it a couple of times um, on the radio. Uh, I'm not sure. It's one of those where you just kind of channel hopping on the radio and you kind of enter some sort of 1960s nostalgic hour or something. And this is one of those odd, quirky tracks that pops up. But I must say, I've never actually watched a video with them. So this is going to be, um, this is going to be a trip. Uh, so without further ado. <coughs> I love the guitar. Just going to pause it there. I absolutely love this. I never in my wildest dreams imagined status quo to like this. When I close my eyes, I imagine status quo with long hair and wearing denim. Uh, I don't expect them to have short hair, a little um, teenager's moustache and uh, frilly shirts and long um, frock coats to, to match. Um, and even though this is a, a black and white, imagine what this would look like in colour as well. This is proper psychedelic and I love that kind of reverb sound. I'm not sure if that's even the phrase to use, uh, but it's, it's an amazing, amazing sound actually. I've never really thought about um, the actual sound of the instruments on this before as I've only heard the track a couple of times but yeah this is terrific um, I'm going to carry on smiling all the way through <laughs> Your face and just won't leave me 
So that was a status quo with uh, pictures of Matchstick Men from 1968, and um, that was such a fun video to watch. They even looked like they were having like proper fun. I think this was like a, a Top of the Pops. Um, didn't even know Top of the Pops was going in the 60s. Of course it was, what am I talking about? Um, so I believe that this song was actually quite popular in the US as well. It, it reached number seven over there, so... That's amazing, really, to think that this band. I've always thought of this band as pretty much just a a UK success, um, but clearly, initially, they had a little bit of a success in the US. I also know that uh, this song is has like a theme in it, which is obviously pictures of matchstick men, and that's kind of based on, I believe, so I was told by a friend that it was based on. The Lowry paintings with the industrial paintings with little matchstick men, uh, factories and and like usually kind of a very washed out grey yellowish sky. Um, and that also that this song was uh, about sort of tying out this, the Lowry aspect in with uh, somebody he'd just split up with, I believe. Um, and the last factoid I think I know about the song is that Francis Rossi actually wrote this on the toilet, so which is probably uh, the least interesting of the three. Um, yeah, so let me just have a quick look at the lyrics on this. When I look up in the sky, I see your eyes a funny kind of yellow. So yeah, I think that's a reference to his ex. And a funny kind of yellow is basically a, maybe a reference to this, not a happy yellow, but a very sour um, washed out yellow. I rush home to bed. I rush home to bed. I sunk my head. I see your face underneath my pillow. So it's like like when you split up with someone, you you just their head, their face is always in your mind. And even though what's done is done and there's no going back, uh, you you just kind of visualize them all the time um, until that is you meet somebody new or you do something a little bit more interesting. Then uh, angst. Pictures of Max. Uh, I wake up next morning. I tired, feeling yawning. See your face come peeking through my window. Yes, everything's going to remind him about his ex. I think in this. Pictures of matchstick men and you. Um, images of matchstick men and you. All I ever see is them and you. Windows echo your reflection when I look in their di direction. It's gone. When will his haunting stop? Your face, it just won't leave me alone. Pictures of matchstick men and you. Images of matchstick men and you. All I ever see is them and you. Yeah, it's a great, a great song. And I love the way that it's they weirdly work in a, a Lowry, the idea of a Lowry painting with his ex. So maybe he had like a bit of disdain for the artists or his paintings as well. Um, just unbelievably just looking at, at the way they were they were singing um the people dancing felt so psychedelic um it did really feel 1960s and what really kind of like um, what i was thinking sort of halfway through was when did that point of transition come between them doing this and their 70s um image with the denim the, the rock being on a that long stage in their videos uh, a little bit like ACDC, a lot of their videos were filmed with them on stage. It was a studio video. So I'd love to know when that transition came. If anybody knows, please, you know, drop me a shout in the comments below. Um, and yeah, uh, it was a fun video for me to watch. I love watching bands that are so familiar to me, but look completely and utterly different. Short hair, the frilly shirts. Um, it couldn't get. It couldn't be more sixties. Uh, it could have been an Austin Powers movie. This video. Uh, so yeah, really, really enjoyed this. And even though I knew the song, uh, this video has come as a, a big surprise to me. And it's uh, it's pretty much fabulous. Um, yeah. So any ideas, any thoughts? Drop me in the comments below. Uh, until next time, take good care of yourselves and have a great super duper week.